All right, here we go. DDG, welcome back to Vlad TV. What's up, man? Our first real interview in like eight years. Been a long time. Yeah, I mean, you did you did one uh, about a year ago, uh -huh. Shirley Jew. Mm -hmm. But this is, you know? Yeah. With me, again. We've been talking about doing this for a while, man. Yeah. Number one, man, congratulations on everything. You have done so well in the last eight years, man, just all around. I'm really proud, man, really happy for you. Appreciate it. You know, we've always maintained contact and everything, man. Yeah, so, yeah. So I'm happy for you, man. And most of all, I remember I hit you about this. Congratulations on your son, Halo. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is your first child. Yeah. And of course, uh, the baby is with uh, Holly Bailey. Yeah. How does it feel? Like, because you were actually there in the delivery room. I pulled his head out. You pulled his head out. Yeah. It was dope. Like, how nervous were you leading up to this? Like, when you found out, okay, this is the, the day that they're actually going to deliver the baby. I was nervous, like, I was, I was more nervous, like, driving to the hospital more than when it was actually happening. Yeah. Like, it was like, damn, I'm going to have a kid. You know, I didn't really know what to expect, but... Like, as it was happening, it happened so quick. Like, it was just... It was oh, so it wasn't a long, drawn-out kind of... No, nah, it wasn't a long labor. It was, like, pretty okay. quick. Yeah. It was like, she ready to get it out. Yeah, I mean, where well, am I lying? We stayed... We slept. We slept and woke up. But it wasn't, like, bad. Like, it wasn't, like, a bad labor. Yeah, like a two-day labor. Nah, nah. All that. Nah. So it was, we went to sleep, woke up, boom, give birth. Okay. And you guys were together since 2021. Mm -hmm. Now, when she got pregnant, y'all kept it a secret. Yeah. And I remember there was all the rumors. It was like, oh, look, she's wearing the baggy clothes. And oh, like I remember y'all were on live and the way she kind of stood up. And I was like, oh, look, you know, I know pregnancy stand up when I see it. And yeah. how come, you know, I mean, obviously it's your full right to do whatever you want with your family. But why did you decide to keep a secret as opposed to just we're two public figures. We're going to let the world know she's pregnant. Uh, you know, the internet weird, man, you know. Yeah, yes, it is. And I feel like, you know, it, it's it's a sensitive time for a woman, you know. Yeah, her first child. Yeah, so it's like when they when they pregnant, it's like the hormones crazy and, you know, they start looking a little different or whatever and they start maybe, getting, you know what I'm saying, you might feel insecure or whatever, and I feel like it was just better for us to keep it a secret so people cannot have opinions throughout the pregnancy. Yeah. Once he was born, it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? He here, so it's, it's cool. But during the pregnancy, like, you want to stay sane. Well, you're 26, she's 23. And, you know, both your careers are on an uprise. Mm -hmm. You guys aren't married at this time. When you guys find out that she's pregnant, was it like, okay, we're going to decide whether we're going to keep it or not because this is obviously your choice. It's a private choice. Or it was like, no, there's no discussion. I'm definitely having it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we had the conversation, but um, ultimately, we I feel like that was something we both wanted. You know, I feel like being a dad is my calling, being a mother is hers. Uh -huh. So um, it was definitely a, a mutual agreement where, like, you know, Let's just do it, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, we we very close best friends. We understand each other, so let's just do it. Definitely nerve wracking, though. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah, it was nerve wracking. When she told me, I was like, I wasn't like scared or nothing, but I was like, damn, for real. I mean, was it planned at all? Nah. Or was it just she wasn't nah. on birth control and y'all? Nah, it wasn't. Know? It wasn't. It wasn't a planned thing. It was just. It just happened, you know. Mm -hmm. Well. I mean, it happens, but you guys are, a couple of you guys are active. Was there a reason she wasn't on birth control? I mean, that's what I'm saying. It almost seems like it was planned to a certain degree. No, because if I two mean, couples are doing their know. thing, eventually one will get pregnant. I don't know pregnant. nothing about what her medication and, you know, birth control, whatever. I don't know nothing. Of, you, don't know, you know nothing about that, seriously? No, nah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know what. what Y'all never had that discussion? Yeah, I mean, it, it don't matter, do it? 
Well, I mean, it does to a certain degree because now you guys have a baby. Of course yeah, it matters. Yeah, but I feel like, you know, we... Everyone that I've been sexually active with, I find out whether they're on birth control or not. Or yeah, I use I mean, condoms or, or whatever. I mean, this is a normal part of a, the relationship conversation, no? I mean, yeah, but I mean, I feel like... I don't care. You know, I don't care to know if she on birth control or not. We together for two years. It's like it just happened, type shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So she gets pregnant, and when she finally has the baby, how long before you actually announce it? Um. Maybe like a month or some change later okay and why did you guys decide to announce it because you guys could have kept it completely secret it's kind of hard keeping it a secret you know you because the high profile nature of yeah, everybody every, we got to navigate throughout la and move around and mm. do this and that and work and stuff so it's like when you're doing all of that um you know it be, kind of becomes stressful to try to hide something that's just so there yeah well, I remember at one point you actually did show the baby's face with like a like a filter <laughs> on the baby's face. Yeah, nobody face. nobody really know what he looked like. That's good. No yeah, one should. Yeah, yeah. It's your right. baby. Right. So I just keep it. I keep just put little blurs on his face. But he's he's a great looking baby. Like if people was to see, I'll show you. But if people was to see him, mm -hmm. I, it's no it's no like I'm not scared of people talking shit or nothing like. It's just the principle, you know. I don't yeah. want people making memes with my baby face, and you know what I'm saying, like doing all the extra weird internet shit. So, uh, I think it's better just to keep it as sacred. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And I remember when the pregnancy rumors started to kind of get to a certain point. Mm -hmm. There was a rumor that you had a bunch of other kids. Really? Yeah, Who I definitely saw said that? that. I definitely saw that. Really? Yeah, Holly gets pregnant by a rapper and he got a bunch of other kids and anything else like that. You know how the nah, internet works? Nah, I'm a, I, if I had other kids, I would know. I mean, I would be a present dad. People right. would know, you know, like, definitely not. So this is your first kid for both of y'all? First kid ever, yeah. Okay. Uh, have you guys ever talked about marriage? Yeah, it's a discussion for sure. Any plans? Yeah, we're taking it slow. You know, figuring it out. Um, yeah. Okay. Plans for more kids? Never know, man. She might be pregnant right now. <laughs> Look at Rihanna. I don't really, be, you know, I don't really be planning. I don't like to plan for stuff like that. I feel like it's better when it just happened. Hey, man, to each his own. I mean, at the end of the day, both of y'all are financially good. Yeah. And there's family members around and everything mm -hmm. else like that. Like I saw some of the videos and stuff like that. So you guys aren't going through the same kind of struggles that like like a teenage couple would be going through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like nobody has money, no one knows. It's definitely expensive though. It's definitely expensive. Yeah. So we got like a night nurse and all of that extra yeah. shit. So Nannies it's like, and yeah, everything that's, else that's like that. Shit adding up, but yeah. But it's not impacting your lifestyles. Right. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. It, it does. It is expensive. I, I feel you on that. But not as expensive as a, a typical young couple. Yeah. A typical 26 and 23 year old who are just starting their careers and have nine to five jobs are not, you know, and have to be at work every day and, and so forth. It's not like what you guys are going through. Yeah. Which is dope. Now, how is it, you know, because my relationships have always been private. Mm hmm. Because, like you said, I don't want the world in my shit. Mm -hmm. But you guys have a public relationship. How does it feel when people are constantly hating on your relationship? You know, putting up, like, you know, <laughs> polls to have you guys break up and, and everything else like that? I mean, it don't bother me no more. It used to, though. It used yeah. to be like, man, why y'all fucking with me? But it don't really bother me no more. It's just like. I just laugh at it at this point. 